So when I started doing these 52 licks, I didn't really have a plan in place for uh, covering every drummer. Obviously there's only 52 licks and there's more than 52 drummers. Uh, I just kind of let it go as it went, um, depending on who, what lick was hitting me at the time or a particular suggestion. But I did almost get through this whole series without a Kenny Clark, Clark lick, uh, which would have been a, uh, a crime in lots of reasons. So. Uh, we, we got, uh, I luckily uh, got a request for a Kenny Clark lick, and uh, definitely that's a great idea, and, I'm, and I definitely wanted to get one in. So, a quick search on YouTube. I mean, Kenny's played on so many great records, but <clears throat> I like to link stuff to YouTube if possible. That way you guys can see these guys play um, <clears throat> and have it really easy to access uh, this vocabulary. So, I found a little YouTube link of, uh, of Kenny trading um, some choruses on a blues, and uh, in his first little trading of choruses, he plays the super hip double time lick. So uh, it's gonna sound totally classic bebop for you. I'm gonna play it kind of medium tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, um, Let's go over it real slow. Obviously, it's a double time lick. Uh, when I link the PDF, it's going to be written as sixteenths. I just think that's the cleanest way to write it. The phrasing shouldn't come from the page anyway. The phrasing should come from listening to guys like Kenny play this. So you'll read it as, as sixteenth notes. It's a double time lick. Let's break it down measure by measure. <clears throat> um, the first measure is just uh, we're going to alternate, and he's just between the snare and the floor. It's going to start on the end of one. One, two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four, and two, three, and four, right, 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 left. Now the second bar um, is uh, he's going to play a particular sticking, which is right, 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 left, right, right, left. I think one of the things phrasing wise that you should pick up is <clears throat> he's I mean he's obviously gonna be clean with it um, but it, he's not over articulating it. it it's, it's not a marching band figure uh, and uh, so it's got a little bit of a lilt to it and also the way he ends it he pops that little rim shot there at the end and you'll hear that pretty cleanly, I think, on, 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 the, on the track. So let's put the two bars together, still at that medium tempo. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one. So to me, just that last little rim shot there. Um, to me, that's a great little double time phrase. It's fairly easy to play. Um, check out his his sticking. Of course, as always, we you can move those stickings around. You can revoice it around the kit. There's lots of cool combinations. But um, for me, I just like that little Kenny Clark lick, just like it is. All right, uh, there's a short little one. Uh, I'll send. I'll hook up the uh, a PDF for it and a, um, a YouTube link uh, with Kenny playing. Uh, check out Kenny playing. He's definitely one of the one of the fathers of, of bebop drumming as we know it. Okay, good luck.